Well, these are two of the five concrete slabs at the off-grid homestead. They are now complete, and they are now and they are separate. This is one building, but two separate concrete slabs with a two inch gap between them, and it's filled with two inches of rock wool insulation. Sometimes that's called a construction joint as opposed to a control joint because it's actually a physical separation between these two slabs. What that's doing for us is prevent, helping prevent cracking that would normally happen at an inside corner like this. We do have one inside corner on this main portion of the slab and we have and at that point with a saw cut our construction joint about an inch and a half deep into the slab to to force the slab to crack if it's going to crack at those locations and in that little groove so it doesn't it's not an eyesore down the middle and kind of wonky like that so the other thing that we're doing here with this insulation is preventing heat loss between this slab and this slab this is an unconditioned space, and this is a conditioned space. This will have a wood-burning stove, but this will have a heat pump running for AC and heat year-round. So we want to keep this, this area as comfortable year-round as possible. This one can fluctuate a little bit more because it's a workshop. This is battery storage, control room, and the owner's office. So this two inches of insulation is preventing that heat from transferring from this slab into this slab because this slab may be a little colder than this one. In an earlier video I showed how we were insulating all of the slabs. All surfaces except for the top will be wrapped with insulation. Two inches at the bottom and underneath, underneath the slab itself, three inches on the edge and then up and around the building and the roof will have four. That's the barn. Community house is going to double everything. So we've got four inches under the turndown, four inches uh, under the slab itself, and then we go to six inches on the on the walls, all the way up to the roof where we have eight inches. But right here, this two inches is more than enough between these two slabs because this slab is still insulated as much as this one, but because this area over here is not mechanically conditioned and regulated with a thermostat and this one is, we want to maintain a temperature over here, whereas this one can fluctuate a little bit. So this R10, or a little bit more than R10 that we've got here in this rock wool insulation, is going to be more than enough to prevent, or at least minimize, the amount of heat loss that's happening between these two spaces. So we're with our construction joint, we are helping prevent cracking, we're controlling heat flow, uh, by keeping the heat where we want it, and we're increasing the durability and the lifetime, the, the lifetime of this of this slab. And what a beautiful thing not to have any construction or control joints in in a slab, right? Uh, of course, you'd rather have a construction or control joint than a, uh, a random crack. But in this case, because it's six inches thick, it's reinforced, and it's only 18 feet by 18 feet. This slab doesn't require any control joints. This slab, on the other hand, behind me, it's 50, it's 50 feet wide, 40 feet deep. We went at anywhere from 12 to 15 feet apart, depending on where we started it and, and the configuration of that slab. Next thing we're gonna do is pour the footers for the roof structure over at the community house courtyard, and then we'll pour the slabs for the, for the living pods over in the community house. And the main living pod is actually going to be 8 inches thick, and the, the smaller pods will be 6 inches thick. And the idea is let's build this thing for at least 500 years. Insulating, protecting these slabs is one way to do it, making them a little bit thicker, extra reinforcement, but not too much. Um, all of these, these practices of keeping the moisture away, keeping the heat the heat loss and heat gain down maintains the integrity of these materials and these structures and the comfort of those living in them.